we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. We can't tell our people they can vote yes on abolishing slavery unless at the same time we can tell them that you're seeking a negotiated peace. It's either the amendment or this Confederate peace. You cannot have both. How many hundreds of thousands have died during your administration? Congress must never declare equal those whom God created unequal. Leave the Constitution alone. We are stepped out upon the world stage now with the fate of human dignity in our hands. Blood's been spilled to afford us this moment. Now, now, now. Abraham Lincoln has asked us to work with him to accomplish the death of slavery. No one's ever been loved so much by the people. Don't waste that power. This fight is for the United States of America. I started on this back in um, February of 2001. Oh, wow. And there was a different uh, take on the presidency. And uh, it was the entire four years. And we went out looking for battle sites and all sorts of things. But as the project evolved over time, stopped and started many times, then it actually was condensed into a story that this was the last three months of Lincoln's life. I remember Stephen asking me if it, I felt like I'd received like some sort of holy crown, really, because I remember we were doing War of the Worlds. I remember the set when we, when he he just came along on the side and he said, "I want you to do Lincoln." And I remember feeling so kind of excited and sort of humbled altogether in a funny way. But we were in the middle of War of the Worlds, so and I think that was two thousand and five. It was a lovely process, just, um, you know, hel helping sort of paint the picture and defining the man. And um, Yes, I think it was very uh, collaborative. It was very nice. It was a really, really lovely experience, actually. Just It was just building up the man, you know, little piece by piece, piece by piece. And we did it, I, I started about, um, um, probably about six months out with Daniel, just these tiny moves tiny moves, and then, you know, the idea was to get him pretty much complete before we started shooting. We can all do things around Lincoln. Um, it was the triangle of, of, you know, Daniel and Stephen and Tony that created this sort of fundamental level that we all responded to. But one person had to actually be Lincoln. Right. And you can do all those things around it, costume, makeup, art direction, cinematography, direction, even write the words. But to actually say within here that that has to work, and you have to suspend your disbelief, or even be invited to believe that that's actually him. That's the thing I think we all felt we were privileged to be a part of because we saw the level that he took it to, and then we resonated back. Yeah. 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 In the beginning of the movie, you see hand to hand how brutal it is between Americans fighting one another, and it's personal, and and how just desperate the fight it is. It's not from a distance. And then when you come back at the end of the movie and you see what Lincoln saw, which is the aftermath of Petersburg um, siege, you see the bodies, American upon American, and you see Lincoln's response. And to lay all of that out was actually pretty emotional because it's not the type of thing where you can separate, have this destruction over here and this destruction here, that type of no man's land, let's say in War Horse, it's much more, mm. here's where it happened, and now what's left is no man. I mean, nobody is alive. Everybody's been carted off. And you even see what those who are carted off suffered that because like, yeah. you see the amputees, you see their limbs. It's, it's, it's pretty horrific. And to stage all of that and realize that that's on American soil and it was right where we were filming. Well, over the decade, Stephen, trying to get this film made, um, conveyed to all of us how important it was to him. And so it was one of those processes that we knew wasn't just like a passion project. This was a, a, a project of his soul. I think we choose to be born, or we fit it to the times we're born into. 
Well, I don't know about myself. You may be. This settles the fate for all coming time. Not only of the millions now in bondage, but of unborn millions to come. Shall we stop this bleeding?